What's up everyone, Nate Vincent here with FCPRO. We are going to be changing the air filter on this F3328 behind me. Now you can see we have two filters here and that's because there's an M Sport filter right here and there is a standard filter right here. That said, both filters fit in the same filter housing. So you can actually make the choice on what kind of filter you wanna put in your car. So before we jump into the job, let's talk about the parts and the tools we're gonna to need to do this thing. The first thing we're gonna need is the air filter. So we have an M Sport air filter right here. As you can see, it does not have this gray additional filter on it. Um, and then we have the standard car filter right here, which has this sort of gray additional um, air filter on it. So I would recommend if you want a little more performance from your car, if you want the M Sport sound coming from your intake, you're gonna to want to go for something like this. Now, if you drive your car a lot in the winter, maybe uh, live on a dirt road, something like that, where you're seeing a lot of dust, you're gonna want something like this to have a little extra protection for your engine. Now, to go ahead and do this job, the only tool you really need is a flathead screwdriver or a pick like this. Uh, basically, there's a series of clips that hold the filter box together, and you're just gonna need to pop them loose. You can actually do it with your fingers, but it can be a little bit painful, so I recommend having a screwdriver or a pick to do so. All right, so now let's turn around, let's hop into this car, and let's change the air filter. All right, so right here is the air box. So this is where the filter is gonna live, right over in this corner. Um, it's one of the easiest jobs to do in this car. It's very easy to access. This is a great first time DIY, DIY job. Uh, so let's walk through the steps. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to unclip right here these three clips holding the hood cable in place. So you can see, just pop these right out, just like this. Really pretty easy stuff. And just kind of let that rest back there a little bit. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to just loosen up these three grommets right here. So we have one, two, three. Um, that's what basically mounts this entire air box. So we're just going to loosen them up so it can be free when we go to undo these clips over here. So just lifting up here, kind of massage that out. Same here. That's popped up a little bit. And over here too. There we go. So we have all three loose. Um, if the rubber piece stays down on the car, don't worry about it. You're just going to put it back together the same way. All right, so now that we have the grommets loose uh, for the air box, the next thing we need to do is we need to unplug the mass airflow sensor right here, and we need to loosen up this hose clamp right here. So I'm gonna loosen up the hose clamp, uh, just using a flathead screwdriver here, it's very simple. Just a couple turns, make sure that will come loose. And then we are going to unplug the sensor. Now, be careful unplugging the sensor, you're going to want to push, squeeze this section right here, um, and that's going to release the clip and allow the sensor to become unplugged, just like that. So again, you push down with your finger right there, like that, and that releases the plug right here. So squeeze it together and up. So now that we have that undone, I can just push these wires to the side and we can kind of make a little separation just like I did there. Now, coming back to the front, uh, using either a flat edge screwdriver or a pick, um, or you honestly can just use your fingers, we're going to pop these loose so you can see just give a little pressure, pull it loose. We have two in the front. We have two in the rear. Just like that. And now the whole top of the airbox will be able to lift right off and you'll have access. So there we go. So what I like to do is at this point, when I get this section off, I like to make sure this is nice and clean. So this is the air, this is the filtered air coming through the filter, going through here, and then directly through the mass airflow, and this is going into the engine from this point right here. Now what you're gonna see is underneath this filter is not gonna be nearly, nearly as clean because this is pulling air off the front of the car, um, feeding the air filter so it has air to dr draw into the engine. So as I pull this filter up, you'll see the bottom of this filter um, is pretty dirty. You see it needs to be changed, there's a lot of stuff in there. And you can actually see this air box here um, has a lot of debris, um, debris and sand, and different road debris in there. So now that you have the air filter out, this is a really great time to clean the dirty side of the filter track. Um, the dirty side, I mean, is the side before the air filter. Uh, so what you can do is you can take a rag, get a little wet, you can wipe it around in here. Um, if you have a shop vac or a vacuum, you can suck up some of this stuff. Anything you see is fit, just try to get some of the dust and debris out of here. It'll just make it a little easier on your new, new air filter once it's installed. 
you can see how dirty this old air filter is here um, and how much debris and dirt and dust is in between all the cavities here in this filtration element. Now, if we flip this over, you can see here is the new filter and you can see how clean it actually is. It's just brand new. Um, going to let a lot more air pass through here. It's going to get better fuel economy for the engine. It's also going to let the engine breathe a little bit better, which may actually produce a little more power. Um, so it's a win-win to change these air filters. They're relatively inexpensive. They'll save your engine um, over the long term, and it's a very, very easy job to do yourself. All right, so here I am with just a wet uh, rag. I'm just going to wipe the inside of this out, try to get some of this dust and debris. There's a little hole at the bottom, so if you do spray this out and have a little moisture in there, it'll drain through that hole. Now the only thing you want to be aware of as you clean this air filter box out is you want to make sure that no dust and debris ends up going down here as this is the air intake track for the engine. So make sure this stays nice and clear. Um, if you're concerned that you may be leaving the job or doing this outside or something, um, it may make sense to push a rag in there and just make sure that's blocked up. But as always, make sure you get that rag out of there before you go and start the engine. So this is a Sport Edition car, so we're going to go with the M Sport uh, air filter. Like I said, both air filters are going to fit in here, whether it's the M Sport one without the gray bits, or you can use the um, filter with the gray bits on it. Like I said, both of them fit right in this filter element here. So, so what you want to do is before you put the top of the air box on, you want to make sure you have a nice seal all the way around the corners. The air filter is only as good as the seal it creates. So I like to make sure that the orange bits around the outside are kind of tucked right into the groove of the air box to make sure you get a good compression seal there. So now coming in with the top of the air box, first thing we're going to do is just kind of get everything lined up. Make sure that we're fitting over here on the mass airflow. Kind of pop into our rubber grommets. Get a little massage there. So that one's good, this one's good, and then the third one over here, pop that down. Um, reaching under here, you can get the airflow meter hooked back up to the airline. I like to always tighten this clamp as soon as I slide that up, just so I don't forget to tighten that clamp. There. And then we take the plug for the mass airflow sensor, and we plug that right in. Make sure you hear that nice audible click. And now we're going to clip the air filter box together. So you're going to want to make sure the bottom of the box can move a little bit. So you want to kind of pinch it together and make sure it's nicely lined up just like that. And then we clip the two fronts on and we go ahead and clip the rears on. Now if these clips are really, really hard to push on, uh, you may have an alignment issue with the box. So make sure you just kind of massage it um, and make sure the two halves of the box come together nicely um, because the clips shouldn't be significant or shouldn't be too, too hard to put together. Now that we have the air box fully installed, um, it's down in all three of its rubber grommets, just like that. Um, mass airflow is plugged in. The boot is tight on the mass airflow sensor. And we also have all four of the clamps holding the box together. We now take the hood clip or the hood cable and clip it into the air box. One, two, and three. And that should complete the job. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, changing the air filter on a 320 F30 chassis like this is one of the easiest jobs you can do at home. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to our channel. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.